In this video, we hike through the island of Antigua and then cool off before loading up and heading out, exploring the island. All right, so there's an old fort or something at the top of this hill with a good hike, so we're gonna head over Fort there. Fort Barrington. Fort Barrington, what is the history about it? Um, I don't know, but I'm sure there'll be some facts up there. <laughs> we learned today. Yeah, so Fort Barrington, we're gonna go hike to the top of that and then have a good time. The resort here is kind of like one of those don't let you in unless you're staying there because it's probably yeah. pretty expensive. Yeah, it looks nice. It's like really expensive, expensive so. Kind of the only thing here eat too, so. Yeah, there's no other restaurants or anything in the bay, so we're just gonna spend the night here and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll build you up, you break me down, tear everything apart. It was time to turn on the high field, crank up the tunes, and head to shore. Break my heart, love you, thank you, love you. In the previous video, we showed you this sunken sailboat when we snorkeled on it. The one downside of having such a big dinghy is that it's hard to park it on the beach. They have horses! I want to ride a horse, Bobby. But anchoring it out like that is quite okay. Sorry, she's all excited about horses. This is pretty steep. It's hard to never heard a show on camera, but imagine carrying all the stone up here for this. Oh. It's a nice view up here. <laughs> it's a little steep. Congratulations, you actually scared me for once. This ain't true love, this ain't you right here, so I'm gonna leave you. Can be with someone who doesn't care. You've been lying and lying and lying and lying to me like forever. I can't believe that I bought your shit. I was too blind to see what you did. What are you doing up there? Just having fun, better views. They were so smart wearing this. Yeah, you can see what I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, you can tell from everywhere. I think this is St. John's, which is one of the main ports for Antigua. You can see all the cruise ships and the shipping is in there. So I'm sure this was the fort protecting all that, you know? I yeah. bet you they had, surely they had one on that other point over there and they get you in the crossfire as you're trying to come through here. Protect that port. <laughs> fort Buttocks. <laughs> It's easy to see why they picked this place as a fort. Nearly 360 views and quite unapproachable from the water. Probably my favorite thing about cruising is just getting out and exploring new places. Fun little hike. Now we gotta hike back up though. A little exercise while we kill. Yeah. I already spent an hour on my bike today. We made it successfully. If you had a boat like this, what would you put in it? I bet you can think of a few things, but were any of them priceless pieces of artwork? Probably not. But that's the difference between super yacht owners and guys like us. Because that's how billionaires roll, filling their super yachts with priceless art. Now you may think they're doing this uh, to show off or for bragging rights, but they have money on their mind when they're buying this art. They are billionaires after all. That's because art is an investment. It's even outpaced the S&P over the last 25 years by a whopping 164% no less. Now for guys like you and me, there's still a way to get this famous art into our portfolio and that's thanks to Masterworks. Using their proprietary market data and revolutionary investing structure, they enable their more than 350,000 members to invest in art and paintings in fractional shares. 
so you can diversify your portfolio at a price that works for you. I've talked about them on this channel before and I think it's genius. So many of you signed up last time that this time around they wanted me to offer you guys VIP passes. So click the link in the description. It takes you to work, takes you to masterworks.io and you can skip the wait list and you can start diversifying your portfolio in priceless art today. Oh! <laughs> Easy! Easy! Ow! My vagina! <laughs> chicken cutlets and mashed potatoes. It looks fantastic. We're about to have a sunset and uh, I've been editing all afternoon, but uh, yeah. I'm not working hard, so I'll we'll make hours. dinner. That looks good. Yeah? It's gonna be yummy. We'll get the bigger one. I like my chicken rare. Oh. <laughs> Sarcasm. One of our favorite places to watch the sunset is from the roof of the boat. Who's blowing the conch? I'm a Troy. Oh God, I embarrassed myself yesterday. Six, five, five four, <laughs> three, three, two, two one. one. There, there, so it is. there it is. There it is, and. Alright, let's try this. Yes! Yeah! Again, again! You can do it. Man. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it through another day. Was it a good one? We made it through. We were we yeah. went the tough terrain. So. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, having Cheers everybody. My favorite dish. Oh, they don't have uh -oh. drinks. Oh, well, yeah, just a fist bump. Woo! Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. But uh, yeah, it was a good one. So. Uh, follow all these guys on Instagram, and uh, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to this channel. She's been working out a lot. I just got off my bike too, so. Good We're working job. out. Working out. The girls have swam ashore. I believe I see them on the beach somewhere over there. I'm gonna finish my workout, and then I've got work to do on the boat, get the steering working. But it's nice. I like really like having this bike on the table. Also, all your workout equipment is really convenient too. Yeah, I've got all this stuff too. I didn't do this yesterday because I was letting everything cool off down here because it gets hot in here after these engines are run. I didn't want to sit in here and I'm already sweating because that's but that's my workout. So back here in the very back, not in that corner over there, is my hydraulic reservoir. You can see it's down a little bit and there's a pressure gauge on the top that has no pressure. So I gotta open up the top, pour a little more. Uh, it's actually transmission fluid um, that you use for the hydraulics here. And then uh, fill it up a little bit and then repressurize that and then check the steering. Hopefully that's it. But obviously, I mean, it's down, you know, half is. I guess once the pump starts running, it pulls all that through. It probably lowers the amount in there. Plus there's no back pressure on it. There's no pressure there. So uh, I got to figure out why that is too. Uh, that may be for another day though. Get the thing running at least. Because this has happened before, but it happened. It was about a year ago that it happened. So maybe just something I need to monitor. After reading the directions on the little housing unit itself, it said to fill it up to only halfway on the sight glass and then pressurize it to 30 PSI. Well, it was already halfway, so I'm not leaking fluid. That's the good thing. But the pressure on there was zero. So I pumped it up to 30 PSI and we'll see what's happened. It's obviously losing pressure somewhere. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it and see, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that gauge, that pressure gauge. But basically you just use a regular bicycle pump to pump it up. So the hydraulics on this, are uh, powered by my port side engine. So I'm gonna start up the port side engine and see how my steering does. Because on my autopilot here, I just started it up. It's got my rudder indicator, so I can see where my rudder is. Oh yeah. Look at that. There we go, that was the problem. 
Now you can see the rudder is responding immediately to my turns. So that's all it was. There was a buzzing enough pressure in that reservoir. So now we're good to go. All right, that was an easy fix. That might be the easiest thing I've ever fixed on this boat. With the repairs complete, it was time to start up the engines and get moving. Floor is showing me where the anchor chain is so that I can steer the boat towards it. I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. Once we're ready, we pull the bridle off the chain and then pull the rest of the anchor up. First time bringing up the anchor. And guess who's gonna put down the anchor when we get there? <laughs> Me! No way! I don't know how well that comes across the camera, but a little water spout over there. Should be an hour and a half, less than two hours over to Carlisle Bay. Uh, we'll get around the south side of the island. Hopefully the swell's not coming around too much. I mean, hopefully the anchorage is okay. I, I think it'll be all right. I'm more, I just don't want any like bigger waves as we round the corner from the dinghy, but we'll see. Because I'm towing the dinghy. It's pretty calm right now. Yeah, but once we get around, we'll see. Because we're on the leeward side of the island right now. Even though it got just a little choppy, the conditions were pretty good for towing the dinghy. Another beautiful bay in the Caribbean. And of course, a beautiful bay is just begging to be explored by snorkel. So the average rate at that resort across the way is about a thousand bucks a night for just your average room. So you go a lot higher up there. But uh, we were gonna try to go there for dinner, but um, they're not allowing non-guests, I guess, because of COVID. Uh, so there's no other place to eat around here. And we've been on the boat several nights eating on the boat. So we're making some snacks right now. Look at this, I can't believe it. <laughs> what big, are you, what did you make? I made big avocado with a spicy mayo. Yum. I'm excited for this. I this is requested by Bobby. Yeah, nah, it's really good. I'm ready, yeah. ready for it. Picked up cuddle. Yeah. Uh, let me move my drone out the way. And then, so after we eat this, we're gonna pull up anchor and go to Falmouth Harbor. I gotta get some work done on the boat, I think next week anyway. Uh, my primary air conditioner went out, which has not been a big deal. When we're at anchor, it's not that big a deal because we got a breeze and we can come through the boat, but in a marina, you gotta have AC because you're not gonna have a breeze coming through. So yeah. it's just the chiller, I think. So we'll see what we can do about it. But we're gonna have this and then get going. Thank you so much to our patrons. They got this video early and ad-free. 